We put too much emphasis on talent, and not enough on grit and perseverance. We all have a natural talent within. We all make the mistake of mythologizing the idea of talent. That is because this acts as a mental shortcut, an excuse. We do not have the do the hard work ourselves. Our vanity, our self-love, promotes the cult of the genius, Nietzsche said. For if we think of genius as something magical, we are not obliged to compare ourselves and find ourselves lacking. Fixed Mindset Pessimistic Explanations of Adversity Growth Mindset Perseverance and Seeking New Challenges And talent is important, but effort counts more. You need grit and perseverance. In psychology, grit is a positive non-cognitive trait based on a person's perseverance of effort combined with their passion for a particular long-term goal or end state, a powerful motivation to achieve an objective. This perseverance of effort helps people overcome obstacles or challenges to accomplishment and drives people to achieve. Let's take a look at the four components that you can work on to improve your grit. Passion, which encompasses interest and purpose. Perseverance, which encompasses practice, prefeebly daily practice, while keeping in mind concepts like the Japanese Kaizen, a philosophy of continuous improvement of working practices. There's also deliberate practice, which involves having a clearly defined stretch goal, full concentration and effort, immediate and informative feedback. It is the relentless dedication to one's objectives, even when the evidence is obscured by the shadow of cognitive illusions. However, let us not elude the truth. Perseverance is not synonymous with infallibility. It symbolizes the capacity to rise from epistemic miscalibrations. You will, throughout your rational journey, face setbacks, the discord of cognitive dissonance, and intellectual tribulations. The chorus of society may mock your commitment, but recognize that this is the precise crucible where you must summon the courage to persist. Perseverance does not bow to the altar of probabilistic ease, rather it traverses the labyrinth of reasoning to scrutinize the depths of your psyche. There's also leeway for reflection and refinement. Never forget that. Find a way to convince yourself that the work you are doing is indeed higher purpose. Even if you find your slef thinking that you are an insignificant dot on a large canvas, Remind yourself that you are a node in a network. You'll know 1,000 people at least over the course of your life, and they'll know 1,000 people each, and that puts you one person away from a million and two persons away from a billion. That's how you're connected and the things you do. They're like dropping a stone in a pond. The ripples move outward, and they affect things in ways that you can't fully comprehend, and it means that the things that you do and that you don't do are far more important than you think.